Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is a long overdue video on my hair loss battle results and what actually helped me. So if you're interested, continue watching this video. Quick reminder of what happened. Um, I had a major stress in November 2016. And just like doctors tell you, three months after major stress, your hair starts falling out and there is nothing you can do to stop it. You just need to take care of what's remaining, take care of your scalp. I've talked to three doctors, the fourth with my acupuncturist, who's also a herbalist, who suggested some supplements. This is what I've got now. It's a huge progress since 2017. Uh, so I'm gonna share whatever worked for me uh, on this tough journey. It's been almost uh, a year since I talked to my first doctor and the progress has been tremendous. So I'm just willing to share all the things that worked for me. But again, when I'm talking about supplements, please talk to your physician because some tests might be needed before you start taking them. All right, supplements, always controversial. What if, like the first thing that my doctor told me when I came to her and said I have the severe hair loss, um, I've lost like half of my hair, uh, it's not regrowing, the quality of hair is really bad, um, the quality of remaining hair is really bad, what do I do to preserve? Uh, whatever, I still have left. And how do I stimulate my follicles to produce more hair? So the first two tests, that I've done were iron and vitamin D and some hormonal tests. The hormones were okay, but I had vitamin D deficiency and I had iron deficiency. So she started me on vitamin D, which is number one, 5,000 IU. And uh, I also took Ferrosorb. Um, I used to take it before, because I'm no longer anemic. But Ferrosorb is a supplement that has some cofactors that help your body absorb iron better. Cause some people be like, oh, eat more apples. No, there is no iron in apples. There's a little and your body cannot absorb it. The second thing that she said is crucial. Even if you don't like have any hormonal problems, if you don't eat fish every day, omega-3. What she told me is to look at EPAs and DHAs. And this is like really high in EPA and DHA collagen. Um, I took one course of it. One course is 60 days. Every morning when you're still hungry on empty stomach, you take three pills. And actually, I do a lot of transatlantic flying. Uh, I do like a couple of transatlantic flights every two months. And when I come back from a transatlantic flight, my skin is like the dullest skin ever, the driest skin ever. But these helps, like a week of collagen supplements, you see the results like guaranteed. But again, talk to your doctor, okay? And two per day with my daily supplements. They are a little on a higher end. This is why I always tell you to consult your physician because like if we look at the dosages, vitamin B6, 4,412% of daily value. So um, yeah. And I also took vitamin C, which seems like a lot. Like this is really good vitamin C, especially if you're like catching cold or something you feel that is starting. I took that for I think five or six months. I'm still taking omega-3 and I'm still taking multivitamins, but a little milder ones. But again, healthy eating and getting rid of anemia is like your number one priority. Because again, what happens when you had major stress or whatever, like or hormonal disbalance, something you have to get rid of, when your hair is already dead, there is nothing you can do. It's gonna fall out, it's gonna frustrate you. Some people might think, oh, maybe I should cut my hair and it will make it stay. No, it won't. It would just give you less emotional distress. Because when this hair falls out, it feels like a lot. When I cut my hair, and I actually cut my hair in um, December 2017 because I was so upset with like the quality of what uh, remained, uh, it was less stressful, but it didn't promote new hair regrowth or stuff. Uh, this is what did. Once we started taking care of my anemia, that happened in June 2018. So it's gonna be a year in two months. Um, after that, I would say in July, we decided to start stimulating my follicles to produce more hair and to produce healthier hair and take care of what's remaining on my head. So let's go to the bathroom and I'm gonna show you the things that she recommended and the things that you can start using without consulting a doctor because they don't need a prescription. Uh, well, maybe like some stimulators that would still consult, but they're over the counter, so. Number one, this is gonna be painful. I mean painful in terms of like your um, psychology. 
because this is an exfoliator. What it makes, it makes your hair go away, like your dead hair. So every time I use this thing, I would lose like one fourth of what's left, but then it gradually became better and better. Now when I use it, I would have like, I don't know, 10 hair. Um, so I would use this once in two weeks. Then, once in two weeks, I would also use this oil hair cure mask and I would put it on my scalp because again, it's very important to take care of your scalp. Um, this is what produces new hair and this is what helps you and this is what helps them stay on your head. So this is something you can get in Finland. I'm not sure about the US. I brought it from Russia. Shampoos. My doctor told me to mix. So one day I would use a mild shampoo. This is Labelle Seaweed. She recommended this one. The other day I would use something stronger like Living Proof Shampoo, which is like for greasy hair. This calms down your scalp. Uh, this activates it and just helps you uh, get rid of the dead cells. Okay, couple of miracles. Miracle number one, Sebastian Hydra. They have a conditioner, which is this one, and they also have a mask. They both work magically. Like I cannot use anything else once I started using uh, Sebastian Hydra. Highly, highly recommended. You can get it on eBay. This one costs like $13, but again, it does magic. I love it and recommended it to everyone. My mom started using it. She loves her new hair. This is not a net, not sponsored. This is something my doctor recommended. And I thanked her for that like so many times because this is doing magic. And the second thing that she recommended, oh my God, the label is gone. This is LaBelle hair mask. The label is gone, uh, but you can also order it on eBay. Uh, comes directly from Japan in this uh, nice bag and lasts for ages. I would just use one after the other. So on Monday I would use this one, Wednesday I would use this, and then go back to this. So just swapping them all the time. Another magical thing, Miner mineralizer ol oleo. This is Italian, again, hard to get in the States, but I brought it from Europe. Uh, I use it once a week as a hair mask. Uh, I leave it on for 15 minutes. Uh, I can actually show you how I do it. Okay, I'm washing it off in my sink. I'm um, not sure I'm gonna show it to you, but this is how it looks. Because <laughs> it's only on the ends, uh, prevents them from um, splitting, prevents them from dehydrating. And this is how I do it. The rule of thumb is to let your hair dry naturally as long as possible. So, probably gonna leave them for like 20 minutes. Um, I will do my makeup meanwhile. And uh, yeah, just overall get ready. Okay, my hair dried up a little by itself. Uh, but because I need to run, I need to make videos for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna speed up the process a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna dry the hair myself now. I always do that with like the hair dryer. I know it hurts your hair a little bit. Like in the ideal world, it dries by itself. But there are more things that you can use. So the oil that we've used uh, is already protecting your hair from over drying. The second thing that I'm using is this Copas Hair Professional Serum. Uh, I'm not sure you can get it in the US because I got it in Europe alongside with the oil. You can get it on eBay. I'll look for a link for you. So I just put it on top of my hair um, before drying. So give it a moment to absorb and then just dry your hair with a hair dryer. Oh, one thing that one of the doctors told me is that it's not a good idea to dry your hair with your head down. Well, what's the other way to get volume? Like for me, I cannot use the rum brush because I haven't learned how to use it. I will learn eventually, but right now I cannot use it. So I just dry my hair with my head down. It's up to you guys, but just warning you that this is like unnatural way for the hair to dry when you're drying it like this. And it's unnatural way for the hair um, to be washed. So basically you need to stand in the shower and wash your hair and you need to stand up and um, dry it. But yeah, I'm gonna dry it with my head down. Okay, one more thing. Uh, this is what actually stimulates new hair regrowth. My doctor recommended these ones, Vichy 
tacos and I use them for 60 days and then you do like a 60 day break and then I talked to another doctor who said um, you can use some other stuff as well just to experiment I used all of them now I just stopped I'm taking a break because again my hair is growing finally and uh, um, but I will get back to them later so this one is on a little smellier side but it leaves your hair more or less clean this one is also nice it doesn't have a lot of smell but it makes your hair really greasy uh, and this one has a really nice smell but again makes your hair really greasy very fast and it's important to use those um, in cycles like 60 days you use them then you take a break then you go back to them but again regarding these i will still talk to a hair professional because maybe there is something particular about your hair um, and she would recommend something different with everything that i've already mentioned like the supplements and the things that i'm using for my hair you see i already have some volume like this is enough for me but it wasn't enough Maybe like five months ago, I wasn't happy with my volume, so I used rollers. And I'm gonna show you just an example, like if your hair is really fine and you miss that volume that you used to have before your hair fell out, this is one of the coolest things you can do because it doesn't hurt your hair and it gives you this natural volume that stays throughout the day. Just take a little on top and put your hair there and I have nine of those um, it wouldn't take all of my hair but it would take like everything on top so I would just stick to doing this on top I wouldn't do it for this video because as I mentioned I think I have already enough volume so you basically just put them on top and uh, let them stay for 10 minutes do your makeup and then you would just take them off like this that's it it's straight and it gets some volume. I only held it for like a minute so you don't really see the difference, but highly, highly recommend it. Believe me, um, there were moments in my life when I thought I would never get my hair back and I got some hair extensions. <laughs> Uh, for my friends, they're really good. They're amazing. You get a little warm when you're wearing all of them. Uh, but yeah, I cut them according to my length and you just put them below your hair over there you clip them and they give you extra volume but they give you because these hair look so healthy like compared to what i used to have this looked a lot healthier and it gave just a healthier look again for the videos for the parties but yeah i stopped using them um like four months ago when the treatment uh started to show its results but this is something you can use as well and another life hack in my bathroom i still use it uh, especially for ponytails. When you make a ponytail and you see you can see some skin come through because uh, yeah not enough volume and stuff. This is magic. This is dry shampoo with color. This is Bumble and Bumble. They have a couple colors uh, and it just covers everything and you cannot see it and it makes your hair look um, cleaner and uh, it covers all the blank spots that you have on your head. I'm gonna finish my routine with a couple drops of oil and that's it. It's very important to activate the oil because uh, when it's warm, the molecules move faster and penetrate deeper inside the air. This is something that a beauty professional told me, I'm sharing this with you. It's just a couple drops to put the fizz away to make your hair look nicer, healthier, prevent them from drying out in the sun, California sun, see? Finally, we get some sunshine in San Francisco. Here we go. That's it. If I don't like a professional something, I would straighten my hair a little because I still get some fizz, but I think I'm fine. Yeah. Whew. For me guys, I am ready to go, ready to rock, ready to record more new videos for you. Uh, please comment down below what worked for you when you had a hair loss problem. Because this is really useful. The last video got so many comments with the device and pills and stuff. Please comment below. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, this channel is about America, culture, languages and stuff. But sometimes I post about hair and health. For more information about hair and health, I would suggest going to my Instagram, Lingua Marina. Hit subscribe, DM me if you've been watching this video and subscribe because of that. And I'll see you soon in the next videos. Bye.